there's a big storm moving through and and I just know these these swallows that are flying against the storm. The storm is coming from downriver. So the birds are trying to go downriver and they are flying against the storm. It's amazing to see then how they manage to stay stationary, sometimes just gliding against the storm, and sometimes they're even moving forward without building up their wings against the storm. Now, the purpose of this, I don't know what it is, because uh, they seem to be trying to go up river no matter what, but they also seem to be having a lot of fun doing this game of going against the storm with the rain beating up their faces uh, and uh, and then they come back sometimes they let it go and they glide back and they, there was one bird doing basically 360s going forward some and then coming back and going forward and I, I couldn't understand if they were doing this for fun or because they were so determined to go up river they couldn't wait for the storm to pass, like I am waiting here. And then I realized that it's all one and the same, that our purpose is divine, but our purpose is also joyful. Our purpose is fun, to put it in simple words, or in a simple word. Our purpose is not just divine, it is divine, but that means that it, it is also joyful, it's one and the same, because this universe comes with joy. It's not just... I, I used to think of purpose as a duty, I must do, I must... I must accomplish this, I must do this, or other, there's a crane now, lying over there to an island. And it's true, it's, it is a duty, but it, Duty has this connotation of military duty, of obligation, pure obligation. This is obligation in the sense of much obliged. When you receive something, you are, and you're obliged. I'm receiving from the universe, and I'm obliged. But it's not just a duty, a dry duty, a painful duty. It's an exchange. The universe gives me joy, and I'm giving... I'm fulfilling my purpose, which is joyful. It's a joyful purpose, and fulfilling it is joyful. Our purpose is fun. As the thunder approves. These birds flying in, in a storm are joyful. Imagine the joy of that up high in the sky. 200, 300 times your body height, so I will be like 2,000 feet high. Rain pounding me and I'm flying into the rain. Sometimes without even beating up my wings, I glide and I'm finding games with the air currents to go opposite the wind. That's pure joy if we could do that. Sometimes we do it with devices, we parachute or paraglide or para something. But can we at our own scale find our own purpose, redefine our purpose according to what the universe needs from now uh, now or what the what is our purpose is it joyful they must have been joy into hunting a mammoth I will be with my bodies and we will have our spears and stones and sticks and go after a mammoth and most likely a new firm or old animal but still a huge beast and we will ask for blessing and permission to do this and be so thankful after doing it and the entire thing must have been joyful we were killing but it was joyful 
Are you telling me a hunter today finds joy in doing that? Finds joy talking to his buddies about showing the trophy, but if you're finding joy hunting an elephant today, you're doing it out of need, out of bragging, or maybe you're so wired into your Paleolithic brain that you find joy in that, but news, that purpose is way outdated, like by 10,000 years. Don't hunt down the elephant. Protect it. Find habitats for creatures, for beings. And the birds are flying joyfully. And the storm is ceasing. They were right, there was no need to make a big fuss about this storm and hide much about it in front of it. My purpose, what happens if I plant apple trees? find an old orchard that the trees are not productive anymore by current market standards but protect those old trees and get apples from them get organic apples after a few years or let them be chemical free make cider yeah make some booze out of these old apple trees an old man with an old orchard. What do you do with an old orchard? It's not productive, doesn't pay off. But an old man to live in it and protect the trees. And plant some new ones. and be buried under one. Find your purpose in life. You know you, will, you have find it, found it when it's truly joyful. <laughs>